hey you guys welcome or welcome back to maya's glow i hope you've all been doing well i hope your week has been going amazing and that 2022 has started off on the right foot for you guys and today's video is actually going to be very relevant to the beginning of the year aka the january season and i just wanted to share with you guys some amazing hacks that my girls on a budget can use whenever they're trying to either get beauty treatments or buy beauty products but you want to do it in such a way that you're not going too deep into your pockets and draining your funds just to buy a cleanser or just to get your hair braided so I'm going to share with you guys some hacks that you can use so if you want to save money and not be a spendthrift when it comes to beauty it's so important to have a beauty plan and a beauty budget so that's my first hack make sure you have a beauty plan and a beauty budget so by plan i mean you've mapped out the things that you're going to need during the month so do you need to buy a new moisturizer do you need to top up your sunscreen do you need or want a new lipstick maybe to treat yourself during that month do you need to get a pedicure so have all those things in mind or you can even write them down that's going to be much better at just helping you track the things that you need that way you can actually plan for them in your beauty budget so you can have a certain amount that you're going to put aside to use for all of your beauty expenses that way if you go over budget it's easier for you to track yourself before you you know spend a bit too much that you didn't plan on spending on and you can actually help bring yourself back to the place that you wanted to be in terms of your finances and not just go harm on spending on products or treatments that you probably didn't really need so make sure you have a beauty plan and a beauty budget trust me it's something i do it's something i've been doing and it's helped me so much hack number two it's all about where you spend so you want to look at where exactly do you one buy your products and two where are you getting your beauty treatments done because prices do vary depending on where you're at so we're also talking location ways so like if you're in kenya maybe it's pricier to get certain beauty treatments in nairobi compared to like nakuru or eldoret so it really depends on where you're based and also within the city or the place that you're based in it depends on where you want to go to either buy products or get beauty treatments so when it comes to products you guys have discovered something please note this down because it's going to change your life so there are certain products that i've noticed especially from big brand names like garnier um simple nivea products as well i've noticed if you want to get these products at the best price trust me go to the supermarket go to the supermarket i always research on products um, where to buy them where to find them etc because i'm constantly creating beauty content for you guys so over time i've come to realize that certain places tend to be more affordable for the exact same product as others so think of it like buying a soda so if you're buying a soda the kiosk is the cheapest place you'll get it after that the next cheapest place is the supermarket and then after that it's the petrol station shops which if you've bought products at a petrol station shop you know how crazy expensive they can be but it's the same um, principle with beauty products so get them from the supermarket if you can't find them there then you'll have to go into a beauty shop and then if you're feeling really extra with money <laughs> if you feel like you just want to splurge then go to a chemist or a pharmacy because i've noticed they tend to be the priciest when it comes to beauty products so i just urge you guys to keep that in mind for example if you want to buy a maybelline product i've noticed maybelline stocks in all three the supermarket the beauty store and in certain pharmacies as well and i just want you guys to go in and like compare the prices and you'll see it's 
likely that it will be more affordable in the supermarket and in the beauty store compared to the pharmacy and i actually have a crazy story about this so I once ran out of my simple um, daytime moisturizer so I usually get it in the supermarket and it goes for about 720 to 730 shillings um, depending on the supermarket so it's like a small difference of 10 bob but during this time for some reason the product wasn't available in the supermarkets and that's because the main distributor who distributes these um, simple products in supermarkets i think they had run out or the products hadn't been shipped in or maybe they were still at the airport and hadn't been approved so it was just so hard to find them and i also went into some beauty stores and they didn't have them as well so i finally decided to check the pharmacy and i went into this pharmacy and the product was there luckily but it was three times the price so like i said i usually get it for about 725 bob but in this particular pharmacy which was literally right opposite the supermarket it was 2100 shillings so that's when i realized pharmacies tend to have like a more high-end pricing system for beauty products compared to supermarkets and beauty stores so now you know if you've been on my channel for a while then i think you know the importance of learning how to do it yourself and we can't all be nail techs or hairstylists or um, beauticians and trust me i'm not a professional in these things and i believe there is such an important role that professionals play you can't do your acrylics as good as your nail tech does so i think it's important to be aware of that but you can still find ways um, to save money and still look good maybe if you can't get your acrylics done that month maybe you can learn how to do your own manicure or use some press on or stick on nails um, you can learn how to blow dry your own hair and wash your own hair if you can learn how to do your own makeup why not learn how to do your own makeup and all these things are things that you can learn feel free to check out the beauty videos on my channel I have so many videos showing you guys how to achieve different looks how to do different beauty treatments and all that good stuff so please be sure to go ahead and check it out but yeah learn how to do certain things yourself um, even the simplest of things and over time you'll realize that you end up saving so much money so this next hack you guys i think some of you are already onto it but if you're not do look out for sales look out for sales i'm telling you you can end up saving so much and be sure that when you're looking out for sales and that you're planning on buying something during a sale that it's actually on your beauty plan so it's something that you've been wanting to buy um you just haven't gotten to it but then now this opportunity has presented itself for you to actually get it at a lower price because i feel like sometimes sales can have the opposite effect you think you're saving money but you're actually spending more because you're buying so much stuff at a lower price but it actually ends up costing you more than buying the few stuff that you needed at the normal price so be sure to look out for sales i'm telling you they can really come through during a difficult month like january i wish they had more sales during this season compared to like the festive season i mean wouldn't it make more sense right anyway i do hope that we see some sales pop up for those of us who are trying to get through january and um yeah it's going to help you save a few coins so i just realized i had lipstick on my teeth i hope it wasn't throughout the entire video but i hope you guys can understand it happens and finally the last hack is to be open to alternatives so maybe there's a specific beauty product that you've been dying to get your hands on or there's a specific beauty treatment or hairstyle that you've been longing to get but you just can't afford it right now so maybe look into alternatives or things that you feel like are close to what you want to get maybe not the exact thing but you'll still feel a level of satisfaction 
action so when it comes to like hairstyles for example maybe you can look for something less intricate and less complicated than what you wanted and then when you can finally afford to get what you want you can get it and when it comes to beauty treatments you can just scour for different um, products within the same range that you want to buy from either within the same brand the same range or even the same product type so let's say you're looking for a foundation maybe try and look into different brands that um, offer foundations in your skin tone that you can try out and maybe you'll find one that works for you that's affordable if the one you wanted was a bit pricier or maybe it can be Micellar water. So this is actually the micellar water that I usually use from Garnier and there's a time I ran out and as someone who wears makeup it's so important for me to cleanse my face well and just make sure all the makeup is off my face just to make sure my skin is nice and happy and I decided to be a bit adventurous and just reached out for this sunflower oil from my pantry. Yes. <laughs> and it actually worked it worked really well at helping to melt off my makeup and even now when i still have my micellar water sometimes i use the oil especially if i have a lot of complexion products on my face that i want to break down well i'll go in with the oil and then cleanse my face so try and find alternatives for the things you'll need you'll be shocked that certain things work so well like there are certain beauty products that i've shared with you guys especially in makeup videos that have multiple purposes so you can use it for your eyes and you can also use it for your face so maybe you can start out with one palette let's say you're a beginner and you're investing in your makeup kit start out with a palette with products or shadows let's say we're talking powdered um, pressed shadows shadows that you can use for both the eyes and for the face as well so you can use some of them to contour you can use them to bronze as a blush as eyeshadow um, some depending on the shade you can even use it as a powder so try and see which products you can use as an alternative for the products that you actually want and also try and check out which treatments you can actually get done that are close to what you wanted but will still give you the satisfaction of getting them done at an affordable price and that's it that is the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i hope that some of the things i talked about today will be of great value especially for those of you guys who are working with a really tight budget and also for my college students as well i feel like this video will help you and to anyone who's just looking to save more money so please be sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel by the way thank you so much to all the new subbies i've gotten i think in the past two months so thank you so much for coming on over to this space and i hope you stick around be sure to like this video as well i would really appreciate that and comment down below other hacks that we can use to save on money when it comes to beauty so i can't wait to see you guys in my next video mapenzi tele